On the 3rd of July, the current operations director announced that SCR trainings would be suspended for one week due to development work and, one day after, all trainings were cancelled, being impossible to book any training on that period. Finally, on the 13th of July, trainings finally returned, and are back to normal. But, for this data migration, a lot of work happened behind the scenes, with three updates being released. In this video, I will cover what each of the updates did, any bugs that they could have and how this data migration worked. On the first restart, SCR was updated to a peculiar version, version 1.9.3 dev. In this version you didn't had access to your SCR data, and so, you had all trains, routes and roles unlocked. Yes, all roles. With this, many members went right onto the supervisor role and started testing it. Except a few who preferred to see if airport got upgraded. This patch was to set up and get the databases ready for the new data system. This update didn't bring any bugs, except the fact that you could be a supervisor, even if you were a member. And also the fact that the three dot icon on the top right was green, and not the usual grey or orange. Maybe, the green dot is used on dev versions? On the following round of restarts, patch 4 came along, making version 1.9.3 the shortest of all, lasting only about 30 minutes. On patch 4, all data was back, the dot was back to normal but trainings were disabled. So, on this patch, there were some bugs such as not being able to signal, even if you were a signaler. This patch re-enabled data, with the new system, To still didn't enable trainings. The issue with people accessing supervisor and other roles has been fixed too. After some days, patch 5 finally came, being the final update of this data migration. On this patch, trainings were re-enabled, so, for any reason, you can't book them yet. So this patch was the last of the data migration, some issues have appeared, especially today, where players couldn't connect to SCR. But why they made this data migration? According to Bantech, this data migration and API rewrite will let the developers do more with the data, including signaling training 2.0, a feature so awaited by the community. And this concludes the video. Hope you enjoyed. What do you think signaler training 2.0 will be? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss future videos.